Razor, be the X Factor. We are Barbados's premier sports and fitness brand. Get your Razor apparel now. Get active. We're Razor. The last minute Charles is into the attack and he balls a flattered delivery into Braffitt, which is punched down to mid on for a single. Charles is in again with a hop, skip and a jump, but this time it's a flatter delivery which is not square the wicket. Edwards is into the attack, looking to ball some off spin, but a bit of cat and mouse between him and Braffitt, trying to catch the batsman off guard, but no bait this time. This time Edwards does deliver and Braffitt smokes it over his head for six runs. What a superb shot, showing the class of the batsman. Which is probably where Edwards didn't bought the first time. It wasn't a massive one up from Braffitt, just a jab down the ground, but six runs all the same. Edwards responds to that lofted drive down the ground by firing it into the pitch, but Braffitt cuts it straight to the man, so there's no run. Edwards fires in another one. And this time he has his man. Rafik tried to repeat the lofty drive, but only managed a fake nick through to the keeper. It's a nice bit of banter there between Edwards and Rafik. We're doing now 94 for two. Charles is back into the attack, ball into St. Ho. He takes the aerial approach, but the catch is taken in the deep. He couldn't get the elevation required and it really was a simple catch for the man at deep mid-off. The score is now 95 for 30. That wicket brings Jones to the crease. He's facing out his first delivery from Charles. As he's missed a straight one, he's missed a straight ball and everyone thinks he's out, but not the umpire. Jones is back on strike and Charles serves him up a rank full toss but somehow he's managed to hit it straight to the man in the deep. Excellent work by the field at deep in the wicket to avoid the boundary rope when he was taking the catch. Will be collapsing right now, 97 for 4. Edwards continues his spell from the Professor Edwards end and he's trapped Paris on the pads. Up goes the finger straight away. Wonders are in dreamland. Will have collapsed to 98 for 5 and in real trouble. Real trouble here. That wicket brings Bolden to the crease. With just seven overs left to put a score on the board. He's knocked him over. He's Bolden. Another straight delivery by Edwards has produced a wicket. Bolden need quick runs, but that was poor shot selection from Bolden, who's gone back to pull a straight ball and has lost his middle stump. Charles is back into the attack with balls or full toss but hasn't been punished. A toe ender to deep mid on. He couldn't quite make the catch, but has limited the team to just a single. Good feeling in the end. Prems is in. Runs up and bowls a short delivery, a bit slower, but it's cut nicely to back at the point. He makes a great stop. Prems is running in again, and bowls a wayward delivery down the leg side for four. It was a poor ball. Wayward and the wicket keeper really had no chance of stopping that. Premier's running again from a short run up past the umpire. That's a full delivery. Oh, he's bowled him. Oh, that's beautiful. Off stop, not out the ground. Batsman had no chance, really. Beautiful delivery. O'Neill's on strike now. It's good at 121 for seven. Premier's in a bowls a slower ball and he's bowled him. He's tricked him, deceived him. Edwards runs in and bowls a flatter delivery, which is smacked over cover for four runs. A beautiful shot from Lee Clark, who got down on one knee and lifted it between cover and mid off for four. Edwards is in with another flatter delivery, and it's away for four more. Bad feeling at the boundary. Cover has accidentally pushed it over the line for four. No one's pleased with it. But four more to the scoreboard. Leacock is back on strike again. This time he tries to go to the mid wicket boundary. Doesn't pick up four, but will get runs. In 
there is or not, facing up to Primus, and a short delivery allows him to punch it down to third man for a single. A bit of a fumble there from the fielder allows him to come back for the second. Important runs for Wilde. Lukak is back on strike, facing up to Primus, and he gets a full toss, which he toe wins to mid on for two. It looks like it looks like it end up being two, as boys can't quite get to it in time. Now just running into ball at Lee Hawkins. A straight delivery on the pads and is whipped away past fine leg four. Beautiful stroke. Exquisite timing. Now is in again and balls a short delivery to Pinder who blocks it. But Lee Cock wants to single. Pinder didn't, but he had to get his skates on there. Almost got run up. Lee Cock is facing up to Nels once more. Goes for the drive, but skews it straight to the man at short mid off. Easy catch, really. And Lee Cock leaves with 28. We'll do it now 148 for nine. Primus is running in, attempting to close out the final over. And Pinder slogs it right up in the air for six runs, actually. Six runs. A bit agricultural, but who cares at this point? Six runs to the score. We'll do 156 for nine as Pinder tries once again to slug Primus, but gets a faint nick on that slower ball straight through to the keeper, and they're all out. The left-handed spinner is in and bold, and it's the first boundary of the chase. Green gets back and pulls a nice looking shot to the final leg boundary. The bowler really ought to be much fuller and was duly punished for it. Emelian is in and bold, and it's another short delivery. Green got back to try and pull it once more, but he's beating him, he's beating the keeper, he's beating the slip fielder, and it will race away for four runs. Into the second over now and pin the ball to short ball, which is beautifully cut for four. Bad fielding by the short cover, straight through his legs and races into the boundary. Good start from Green. This time Hoyt's trying to go over the top but slapped it straight up in the air. It's in the air, it's hanging, it's hanging and dropped. What a drop. Green's on strike to the left hand and he's going for a low ramp but managed only to pick up the keeper. Skewed it straight up in the air and a simple catch really. Runners are 23 for one in the fifth over. Quite on strike. And he slapped it straight up in the air. Easy catch for St. Hill at mid on. And he's taken it. I'm not sure what that was from Hoyt, but he's he out. He Last over the power play. Short ball into Primus and cut for four. Beautifully cut, powerfully. Not a feel of moved. Amazing shot, four runs. Wanderers 29 for 2 now, last over the power play and Primus once again punches through the covers for 4, beautifully struck, 4 more. Wanderers 53 for 2 now as Lee Hart runs into ball to Craig Braffitt, a short ball top of off stone that Craig gets back and jabs to back with a point for a single, trademark Craig fashion. Lee Hart runs into ball to Primus now, it's a full delivery that Primus slugs straight up into the air, right down at mid off, will he hold on to it, yes he will, simple catch. 54 for 3 now, and Wanderers are in a bit of trouble chasing down the target. Primus looks at his back in disbelief, but no, didn't get hold of it. Wanderers are 57 for 3, love that decrease, and this time he goes for a little sweep, a little flip down the leg side, but straight to the man at back with fine. Good catch. Boyce is facing up to the off spinner, who runs in on balls, and he's trapped on the pad. He's been ramped on the pad. Umpire has not given it and now there's a run out chance as boys has to scamper down to the other end to avoid being run out. Yospin runs into ball to Craig Braffitt. He plays in reverse sweep to the man at deep cover for just a single. Scoreboard moves to 63 for 4. That single brings boys back on strike and this time he goes for a beautiful sweep shot. Pass deep mid wicket for 4. Beautiful shot. A bit too straight from the spinner and he was punished. Runners are 71 for 4 now as Emilia runs into ball to Craig Braffitt. Braffitt gets a sweet surprise fine leg for 4 runs. O'Neill continues with a straight ball to Craig Braffitt who tried to whip him to the onside but had a leading edge that went straight on to the stumps. O'Neill continues to Braffitt, lines up in balls and Braffitt gets back and cuts past point for 4 runs. Beautiful shot, exquisite timing from the West Indies captain. Well played. 
corners are 83 to 4 now as Bradford faces up and tries to slug that one pass mid on for 4. That's a straight to the man though, will only be a single. In the veins for Pinder as he runs into ball now to Boyce. He gets back to cut one but only manages to skew it up in the air and has caught a short cover. Will they have their fifth wicket? Runners in a bit of trouble chasing down their small target. That wicket brings Agar to the crease. He faces up to Jones and he's bowled him. It was a straight ball and Agar went for a massive slug. Got nowhere near it and his stumps were hit. Runners at 89 for 6 now as Ezra faces his first little from Jones. And he's hit straight up in the air. It's up in the air. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, what a catch. What a catch that is from deep cover. He's raced in from the boundary, taking a diving catch to his right. A <laughs> splendid catch and will the are ecstatic. Into the 17th over now, Craig Braffer has just launched one into the road over the deep mid wicket boundary for six runs. It's a beautiful shot. He's just steadied himself, got the bat through the line and swung it into the trees. Whitey's at the crease facing up to Jones and he's been bowled. He's gone for a little ramp shot, missed it and his middle stop has been hit. Wanderers are in deep, deep trouble. Charles is facing his second ball from Jones. He runs in and he slapped this one straight to mid on, up in the air, easy catch and well taken. Wanderers are nine down now for 101 runs. Carlos has run in to see out the game when he's gone length and Craig Braffitt has smashed that over mid off for four runs. He never go length at the death. He's gone for it and he's been duly punished. Carlos is into ball, the final ball of the contest and it's short but Craig has toe ended that straight up in the air. It's gone nowhere and mid off takes a really good catch running in and Wilde have beaten the host by 45 runs. A comprehensive victory despite the very small total that they set.